What's up people, today we're gonna go bananas on few subjects. We're gonna talk about the new CPUs from Intel, uh, if it's worth upgrading or not. We're gonna talk about the GPU, about the uh, 5000 series from Nvidia, a little bit about the stock market, a little bit about what's going on with this channel, what plans do I have for it, and you know, gaming in general, and this kind of stuff, stuff that we like. So first, I want to start with um, with why I was, um, you know, absent from the channel. Uh, it has to do a lot with my personal life and what I was going through. But this project needs to continue, and it's something that I love to do and want to do. It's, this is my passion, so I'm gonna continue to invest in it. Uh, I'm going to be around testing games, upgrading uh, my system, saying, you know, putting my opinion out there. And, you know, hopefully uh, at, at some point in the future, I'm going to uh, reap the rewards uh, from it. But in the meantime, uh, we are down now. As you can see, I'm, I'm invested in the stock market as well. So I'm invested, uh, investing a lot in NVIDIA. And it's a company that I believe in and uh, I'm supporting it. As much as I can, hoping for future gains, obviously, for myself. Uh, we're a little bit down, but you know, future looks uh, uh, future looks bright, future looks orange, <laughs> how an old commercial uh, used to say. Anyway, uh, I digress, um, and um, let's say um, another thing that I want to put it out there. This is my seventh day without a drop of alcohol, so. Um, that's good and I would say it helps me a lot being more focused on the things that I want to do and I must say this little book over here by Jordan Peterson helps uh, helps a lot 12 rules for life it's not like I know what I have to do for my life I know what's uh, wrong uh, and what I'm doing wrong but you know uh, it's just Sometimes you don't have the power to take the right decisions. It's not like you don't know. It's like it's so easy to take the wrong path in life. You know, I've always knew what was the right way to go. But sometimes, you know, you just get stuck in the stuck in the past, stuck with the, in your own mind, let's say. And it's very hard to escape from there. And anyway, so let's go to let's go to uh, what's happening with this channel well uh, first what's happening with intel um we have the prices we have the prices not officially but more and more retailers are you know listing this new series and now it was listed in canada so it's around 850 canadian dollars for the top tier for the next top tier which should uh, give you better performance than a 14900 KS and apparently it does around let's say 5% better performance now if how much is 850 Canadian dollars it's around 478 let's say let's say the the new top tier from Intel is going to cost you as much as a 14900 KS that we have today so with with the vat and all that which i think it's a decent price given that it's a new generation and gives you some performance now is it worth it to upgrade for 4090 uh, 14900 ks to to the new one it's a very hard decision it's a very tough decision because it comes you will have to uh, change your motherboard as well so that puts you to to have another expense for the motherboard you already have the ddr5 uh, and everything else but you will need a motherboard that's for sure and um hopefully hopefully we will not need a new uh, cooling solution because i would be pissed um i spent like 350 for an ao uh, core liquid core liquid we're 360 um something like something stupidly like stupidly uh this one i think no something like this um and 
I would be pissed to have to change it. It's the one with the big screen. I don't know which one is it, but the is this V2 or something? I don't know. It was like 300 and something pounds when I when I bought it. Um, oh, I have it. Why I'm not checking my my YouTube channel? This is stupid. Yeah, let's check my. I, I forgot my own freaking right. um, system. All MSI right. Meg. Yeah, S360. Meg upgrade. Let's look for it. No, that's that's the thing. Like this one. Like how the f like no freaking way. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna have to change this one for another freaking thing. And you know, it keeps my CPU cool. It has everything that I need. I don't want to change my my um, my cooler. So yeah, um, as I was saying, if you already have the top tier from Intel, it will be a very difficult decision to to go and you know look for for this one, especially because of the motherboard change and all that. And the performance uplift is not, you know, 10% plus. But I must admit, and here I'm going to give you an example. Like, you know, if you looked at my uh, my uh, tests, my benchmarks in uh, Black Meat uh, Wukong, yeah? Um, so you have that kind of performance. But I have a friend. Uh, his channel is this one, BMAR92. So he has, like, top, top, top things. Uh, he has a Strix 4090, which is a beast of a card. Uh, the 4900 um, KS, um, like insane settings, insane settings. It's like 6.2. Everything is water cooled. So I had a little chat last night with him. Probably he didn't, uh, he didn't have too much sleep. But I'm telling you, the performance uplift, it is not only about the GPU. I think CPU is starting to become important for me. And it's obvious that a CPU upgrade for me becomes uh, becomes important because the differences in, in performance, they are starting to, be, to become relevant. So um, for me, it will be like a three generations upgrade. From the CPU that I have, the 12900K, to the next, you know, above 14900. So, the CPU upgrade is something that is uh, set in stone for me. I will have to go for it because we need to stay relevant in the searches and, um, you know, stay relevant with this, uh, with this channel. So, hopefully, at the end of this month, I'm going to have the budget for the CPU and motherboard. Um, yeah, in terms of, uh, let's, let's go to, to the GPU, the GPU rumors, uh, you know, these, these are only rumors and this is from AI, you know, AI is compiling whatever is finding on the, um, you know, on the internet is kind of, I don't believe this, an RTX 5090 is expected to be 50, 70% faster than the RTX 4090, especially at 4K resolutions. I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe in the future, we're going to have this kind of, uh, and I'm going to show you with, um, with an example here. Because I did a video uh, yesterday where I was testing like three generations. Yeah, three generations of... Uh... So at that time, at that time, uh, 3090 was a beast, like not this one not this one um yeah there you go so this is pure ray tracing performance yeah from one generation to another you have the 2080 di on the far right you have 3080 uh, 3090 in the middle and 4080 pure ray tracing performance in 4k no help from the lss no nothing but this is an example with with a new game, with a very new game. If you would have like, um, you know, the, the what I'm trying to say is that this this performance uh, uplift that you can that you see here, they are not 
two. They are not two because they they refer to a specific point in time. And this game that I've created today are more and more demanding from what uh, 2080 Ti was supposed to deal with, like, I don't know, six years, eight years ago. Uh, and same is the case for the 3090. 3090 in a few years won't be able to move a game in 4K, which is stupid because if you compare it, like if you test games that were produced back then on the RT, uh, RTX 3090 time, you will see 3090 was destroying pretty much everything. And it's still a, a 4K, uh, a very good 4K uh, GPU, but you know, the games are evolving, the, the engines are more and more difficult to render, the graphics, I mean, are more and more difficult to render, and of course, the, the performance goes down. But the difference, like, the difference that you see here between a 3090 and a 4090 is not three times. 4090 is not three times faster than a, than a 4090. So it's very hard for me to believe that if that a 4090 is slow, like a 5090 is going to be 50% or 70% faster. I think it depends on the game, on the games, but especially not in 4K and not at this time. Let's say if, if 5090 will be released till the end of the year or in the first quarter of 2025, I guarantee you in no games, 5090 will be 70% faster. And I'm referring to 4K gaming with ray tracing active and this kind of stuff. Maybe a 25%, yes. 30%, yes. But 50, 70, no way. No way. For the games that we have today, uh, no, I don't think so. So, um, now... And now comes the question, like, um, am I going to upgrade from a 4090? Well, the, 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 the answer is very, very difficult. It's very difficult because, um, and let's see what they are saying. There you go. The specs. And so this site is very good for if you want to, you know, hear some kind of reliable rumors, uh, you can go and check it. <coughs> so what's going to happen for this channel probably at some point we will have to buy it to again to stay relevant in the searches and all that but am i gonna rush to buy it i don't think so i don't think so because um it's the same situation with people who already have a 14900 cpu from intel uh and they are thinking like should i should i buy the the new one well the, the performance uplift is not going to be very evident um, too quick. So the same thing with the 4090 versus 5090. If my advice, this is my advice. If you're coming from um, a 30 generation, yes, go for it. If you have a 3060, um, 3080, even a 3090, go for it. It's two, gener like, it's two generations. Um, if you're coming from a 40 series, it's going to be a very, very tough decision to, uh, to take because man, this, it, it is, these are like serious, uh, serious investments and yeah, it's going to last you for a while, but especially for a YouTube channel, you have to do it like every freaking year. And it is a uh, it is serious investment. You, you rather just buy stocks, for example, <coughs> and hope that they will go up. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, for me, it's gonna be a very hard decision. If I should get the fifty ninety, it looks very good. It looks very good on on paper, and I think the you know the rumors are right. Twenty eight gigabytes of ddr7 jesus christ and the bus the bus gets an uplift an upgrade <laughs> msrp we don't know too slow dual fan 
Jesus. It's going to be a very hard decision. It depends on the finances. How um, I would prefer for this GPU to be delayed. Delayed until the first quarter of uh, 2025. So we have a little bit more time to enjoy this uh, 4090. You know what happened in my case with the... Um, with the 3090 i didn't have enough time to take advantage of it so i don't want to go through the same thing because from 3090 i jumped like in a year or so i jumped to the 4090 and 3090 is just sitting in a box there uh, i don't want to sell it for peanuts and i would rather just let it you know let it stay there and I don't want the same thing to happen with uh, with my current uh, current GPU. So yeah, these this is these are my opinions about uh, the new Intel and the new GPU and what's gonna happen for this channel. Yep, for sure we're gonna upgrade because we need we need a new CPU, we need a new motherboard, and as I've showed you in my um, on my friend's channel. These things are starting, I mean, in my case, the CPU is starting to become obvious. It's an obvious upgrade that I have to do. And yeah, uh, pretty much that said, you know, I'm going to try to test more, more games from time to time. Um, I will try to be more consistent. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you soon, guys, in the next video. Take care.